Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to share with you how to create a Google Classroom and invite co-teachers if there are some and add or remove students from the classroom. So I am taking you to the Google Classroom. How we reach to the Google Classroom? Step one is you have to log in to your official Gmail account. The school has provided to all the teachers official Gmail ID. And when you log in using that Gmail ID, on the right side, you will see 9.grid. When you click on the 9.grid, these are all Google applications. You can see here that there is an application called Classroom. This is basically the Google Classroom. So click on Google Classroom. And at present, you will see on the screen the Google Classrooms, which I am having. These are all the Google Classrooms which I am having. And I, I can be a teacher in this classroom or I am a co-teacher in this classroom. Now, you want to create your Google Classroom. So how you are going to do this? On the screen, you will see on the top right this plus icon. So click on the plus icon and click on create class. So it is very simple to set up a Google Classroom. Write down here the name of your classroom. For example, I am writing this classroom as online classroom i request uh, all of you to kindly mute your microphones thank you so much so i am writing here online classroom and here i am writing khms and this is the subject ict you can fill in any dummy room number here and create it it is very simple to set up a Google Classroom. Now, in a Google Classroom, you can send invitation to any other teacher to be a co- Rashmi, sorry, I'm uh, interfering. I can't see your screen. Can you see it right now? No. OK, I am stopping it and then doing it again. OK. So this is I am going to. Anjani, can you see it now? No, Rashmi. Then to please says Rashmi Kapoorya is present. Technical glitch at your end. Is on the screen. Yeah, there is some technical glitch at your end. Please see, because uh, I am now sharing the screen and everybody is able to see this. Okay, this is the online do, classroom. Now, how do I correct it? Yeah. Yes. So now so, I am going to share with you. There are three tabs, four tabs for a teacher on the top stream classwork people and grades when you set up your google classroom first of first thing which you have to do is do a little bit of settings in your classroom so you see a gear like structure over here click on this and you can describe your classroom basically the purpose and then when you go down Please make sure that you change the settings here. Here it is showing that in the stream section, students can post and comment. I do not allow my students to post on the stream. So I am choosing that students can only comment in the stream. Now come to the classwork on the stream. Show condensed notification and the next option is hide notification that is solely your choice what kind of option you want to select 
from both the things either you want to choose show condensed notifications or hide notifications so in my class i have chosen show condensed notification so whenever a child comes in the classroom the condensed notification is available on the screen in the stream section now you see show deleted items i request all of you to turn on this so that when you delete anything from the stream or classwork or or any section it is visible to you and it is not visible to the students now click on save these are the basic settings of the google classroom which you have to do prior to inviting your students now how to invite the students click on the people section and then you can see here that in the students there is this icon called invite students click on invite students and here you can add all the email ids of the students and click on the invite button so right now i am not having the email ids so i am not doing this step but this is the way of inviting students in a classroom now i am going to share something interesting with all of you that in kulachi hansraj model school we have created <clears throat> subject wise groups and group ids are also in a working mode so if you want to become a part of any group you can request neeta arora ma'am to add you as a manager in that group what is the use of creating the group for example i am teaching mathematics in class 12a and i want to invite all the students of class 12a in one go how can i do this i will request neeta arora ma'am to add my name in the group of 12th a so once she is do she has accomplished this that task then what i will do is i will go to this section invite student and write here 12a underscore 2020 underscore 21 at the rate khms dot ac dot in you see this is the group id of 12th a and in one click only you can invite all the students i am not clicking here invite because this is not my original class i am doing it only for the training purpose so i am just clicking on cancel but i have shared with you the easiest way which in our school we have designed the class groups but only thing is that the teacher has to be added into that group as a manager so i request neeta aroda ma'am to do the needful and provide the class group ids to the respective teachers now i am coming back to the second thing which is the teachers section here like jyoti grover ma'am jyoti grover ma'am has asked that uh, how she can post something in the class groups so if you uh, rashmi just uh, can i interrupt here please because my question is related with the email ids of the students okay please you can ask uh, yes uh, email ids that have to be added by the class teacher for every subject or subject teachers have to add separately okay good question now in uh, senior classes i would recommend that all the teachers should create their separate classrooms like you are there what is your subject anita english and english. in which section you are teaching english i am teaching in 11th a 11th f 11th i fine that means you will be creating three google classrooms for three different sections and in those three sections you will be sending invite using the group id of that class okay okay Th but uh -huh. in that case make sure that you are added in the group 
as a manager and for that you can request nita roda ma'am because nita okay. roda ma'am has been set owner of all the groups for class 11 and class 12 she can add you in the respective class groups all right thank you okay. rashmi so now i am coming to the next thing so before starting this session i shared with all of you that in this particular session i would be sharing about how to set up a google classroom invite the teachers and add or remove a student now i am answering to the query of nita roda ma'am she asked me then how to remove a student from a classroom so i am now demonstrating that by taking an example from my class so at present you can see on the screen this is 8th a class of khms and in the people section there are all the subject teachers who are added they are in the same classroom these are all the subject teachers of 8th a and you see that these are all the students of 8th a now i don't want ruhi agarwal to be present in my class so what i will do i will just tick this button go to the actions and remove nita ma'am is it okay now is it clear how to remove the child so this is easiest like in your classroom if uh, some of the students are not studying computer science or they are not a part of your class and you have used group id for inviting so you can simply remove the students from your classroom i hope the first section is clear to all of you and now i would be coming to the next section so i am stopping this recording now